morning, guys. Woo. What a morning. It's so nice out there this morning. Look at that. How clear is that water, eh? See the boat sitting there? Pretty good spot to anchor up, I reckon. Oh, what's that? It's a fish just out behind the boat here. Some sort of fish. What is that? Hard to say what that is, guys. If you think you know what that is, comment below, because I don't know what that is. It's quite hard to see on the screen. Oh, big stingray. Look at that guy. He's cruising the sand. I wonder if that's the one I saw yesterday when I was diving. Is that, uh, what's that? Oh, eagle ray. See the eagle ray sitting there? Just chilling on the sand. Might pack up this tent. Give ourselves some more space and get a coffee on. There's quite a few fish jumping around us. Pretty cool. Way more space without that tent in here, man. <laughs> There's actually a lot of fish getting chased around me, so I'm thinking of putting a, a rod together. Get a coffee at me, then we'll go do some sort of adventure. Day doesn't start until you get a coffee in here, man. What should I do today? Drop in the comments, guys, the things you want to see me do. Big fish, small fish, paddleboard fish, land-based fish, spear fishing, drone snorkeling. So let me know, let me know in the comments what you guys like to see, what you want to see, and we'll do it. I'll get a light tackle rod together, and we'll get on a paddleboard, and we'll just cruise around this little bit just in here. I'll put the drone up in the air, We'll just cruise around this little bit just here and see what we can catch. This rod is not a Spartan by the way, I've just got it in a Spartan rod bag. Because it's super, super tiny. It's actually a Daiwa Infeet, little whip snake. Show you the little reel we're going to put on it. This little guy right here. <laughs> Look at that, it's 2500 TD Black. All right. That's what I want. Oh, might as well show you what stick baits I brought just quickly. So we'll probably go and try and find something massive later. Some good lures there guys, some good lures man. We'll go see if we can find something massive later. Tiniest little bait junkie jig head. 1 16th ounce, which is 1.8 grams, and a two bar o hook. Oh, it's fish right there, look. Look at that, man. Little rod. These guys.
pass along this weed edge, guys. Oh! Just had a hit. How's this spot? Little wash action. The back of this little rock here. See the current pushing through. There'll be a fish here, man. Oh, yep. Oh! On, boys. <laughs> awesome. He hit, for, hit it pretty hard, whatever it is. There we go. <laughs> Little snapper. Little snapper to kick off the morning. Awesome, we're on the board. Nice little spot in here, man. I'm just working that little bait junkie just above the weed edge. I can, I can literally see it. I love these sort of spots, man. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, another hit. Oh man, I'm getting peppered by something. It's not. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> Look at that! I can see it out there. What is it? Oh, it's pretty decent size. A snapper. See it down there? Come here. Oh, it's a better fish. Man, I gotta be so careful with a super light rod. Yeah, guys, look at that. That's a better one. Stoked. There we go. I think what we'll do, I'll pull up the anchor and we'll leave our little tropical zone right here. We're gonna go look for something big. That's the plan. I might pack the paddleboard down just so I've got more room to fight a big giant, hopefully. I'll quickly do this and then we're out there. We're gonna look for something monstrous. <laughs> Right, let's go. Put the rods up here.
get this out of the way. Is there anything home? Running my Soul Digger 8000 guys. It's a P4. And that's an untamed lure. It's just gonna make it a much more exciting fight with this setup. Put that down so I don't catch it. All right, let's have another cast. Go that side this time. Oh, something chasing it. I didn't see what it was, just a big boy. Oh, Kingy's on it. Kingy's following it. Heaps of them. Look at that. Look at them. Come on. There's like four or five of them. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, boys. Yes, boys. This is it. Oh shit. Is it going to be bigger than the one off the rocks yesterday? I don't know. Oh, straight down. How cool is that? Which way is he going to go? That's a bend in the rod, man. Far out. I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna slowly start putting us out away from this rock. Slowly trying to drag him away from that rock guys into deeper water. I think we're fine now. Whoa. I can see colour way down there. It's that clear. I don't think we've seen his last big power run either. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Got me in the frickin' reef! What? <sighs> Got me in the reef. We're well away too, we're a lot deeper right here, but... Must have been a rock down there that he just got me around, man. Gutting! Oh, no. And that one there's a really nice looking big boy lures. We'll see what happens with that. Yep, yep. Good fish too, I think. Oh, pulled hooks. Pulled hooks on it, trying to turn the camera on. Damn it. I was tied on it the whole time though. Man, he hit in there instant, as soon as it hit the water. I reckon there's more fish over in that school there. Oh, man. Gutted.
Oh, yep. Yep. Oh. Man, I thought I'd foul hook something there for a second. But now it's king. There's two of them there on it. Oh. Oh, there's heaps down there. And I like it when they go down, eh? Come up. I'll try to get him up. Oh, oh, right. Look at that rod bend. That's a pretty hefty bend. Uh, whoo. Coming up. I'm not going to bother turning that camera on. We got him now, hopefully. Woo! Nice. Uh. There we go, guys. Finally got one, man. Stoked. <laughs> Oh, finally. At least we got one. I'm stoked with that. So, first fish for this new colour from Big Boy Lures. At least I can go back to camp and not be gutted that we couldn't get one. All right, we're going to go find some dinner. I'm going to go see what I can get for dinner. Go find a nice bay and set up camp, eh? What do you reckon about this little spot? This looks pretty nice. This looks good. Might call this home base tonight. I'll anchor it just out here a little bit. Tide's pretty low, but nice little shelter bay for us, guys. Oh, we'll see where we sit there. I've just dropped the anchor. We'll see where we sit. Little rock right here. Ah, oh, looks good, guys. Yeah. No, this is a nice place. This will do us. I've got crazy zinc stool all over my face. Oh, my sunglasses, they're white. Home sweet home. If you're wondering how I charge my drone batteries and all my camera batteries and stuff, this is what I use right here. It's a BioLite base charge. You can plug wall socket things in there, USBs, 12 volt DC. Pretty freaking handy, man. It's even got a wireless phone charger on the top. We could almost stay out here as long as we want. Well, we actually could. I've got a solar panel that plugs into that thing. So if you've always wondered how we charge everything, that is how. We'll get in the water, we'll see what it looks like. I'll take the spear gun just in case I see something. Yeah, let's just explore our little bay. Whatever I end up getting for dinner. We'll go up on the beach up here on the paddleboard and we'll cook it up on the sand. I think that'll be a nice way to finish the day. Let's go see what's under the boat.
That was a cool dive. I was literally like 20 meters behind the boat when that shark turned up for the first time. I think he hung around me the whole time I was in there and I was in there for over an hour. I was starting to get nervous if I shot a fish, he was probably gonna come in and try and smoke it. So did not want that. I saw a boar fish, not real common for here at all. He was pretty onto me though. I saw him from quite a way off. I 100% would have tried to get him if I could, but basically he saw me from a long way off and swam out. Amazing dive, but how about the freaking fish life right next to the boat? Like all of those fish there, that's right, literally right here. There is, there is a lot of fish down there and it is such a clear day. Look how clear this is. I can literally see fish swimming around. Put that down. Oh. I put the anchor there and you saw how many fish were hanging around just here. Unreal, man. There's some, oh, there's a snapper. Oh, that's quite a big snapper. Leather jacket. It's the ultimate aquarium, man. Car is this? I'm just going to have a couple of casts of the little tiny bait junkie. Yep. Oh. We're on. <laughs> Casting from camp. Oh man, tiny little snapper, guys. Pretty sure it's the smallest one in the world. <laughs> One more cast. Oh, so many fish just down below us. Crazy how many fish are below us, guys. I can see them, I don't even have my sunnies on. Yep, oh. This is better fish. Oh no. Got me in the kelp. Tell me I have to go down there and pull them out. Come out, come out, yeah, we've got them. Got them out. <laughs> Leather jacket bit the tail off the little bait junkie. That's a better snapper. That's a better one, slightly better. Look at the colours, look at those colours on it, man. Can you guys see the lure bouncing around down there? Oh, here we go. Sandagger's Rass. Look at it. Go for the lure, go for the lure. Nah. That would be an epic catch. I think after dinner, I'm definitely going to get on a paddleboard and go for a cruise around and try to get some stuff on the light tackle. Oh, on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, boy. Non-target species, not what I was trying to get just then anyway. Oh, that was a bit of fun. We've got a fish to deal with and I'm hungry. Pan, chopping board, what else do we need? Stop looking down there, Joe. I keep seeing more fish. All right, let's go. Hopefully the fish doesn't fall off. I might stand up actually. Alright guys, where are we going? Which beach are we heading to? I reckon up in here. A little bit of sun over there, but I mean that's going to disappear in 10 minutes. Cruising over the shallow kelp, look at that. Unreal. So sick. Oh man. It's quite rocky. Oh, stay there, fish. I reckon we go up there. This will do. 
Nice little bay. It's just glassy out there now. All right, let's see how this filleting station goes. Chest high, what do you reckon? This is a poor eye. So you've seen me eat these before, me and Catherine. Quite good eating, I actually think they taste quite good. Nice. I'm going to cut them up now because I always end up cutting them up as soon as I get back up there. Right. There we go. I'm going to do this quick because I've got a plan after dinner, something exciting. We'll let that heat up first. How's the view, guys? Another amazing view that we find on these adventures. Our last camp was right around that corner and quite a way down the coastline. This one's quite nice. I like this bay. It's got, it's got the potential to glass off. I'm going to use this wrap bag. For a shaker i normally put them i normally put the fish bits in there and shake it around in, in that little container but it makes a container all yuck so i might start bringing a second container but for now this wrap bag would do just fine put the bits in there all oh, that oil's getting hot hang on i'm gonna to turn it down this is gonna be the straight this one Oh yes, how good does that look man? Oh my goodness. Alright, I think we're good. Turn that off. I wish you guys could smell that man, it is so good. Yes. I'm going 8 out of 10. That is so, so good. It's like the easiest way you can cook it too.